in the beginning months of life, up to about six and seven months, that when they looked at things like their social engagement, they were surprised to see that they really couldn't tell the difference between those who went on to have autism and those who didn't. There's a quote I, I like to use from uh, Dr. Helen Tager Flusberg, who's uh, uh, been involved in this area for a number of years. And she, what she says here is during the earliest months, there's no clear differences between infants who later meet the criteria for ASD and others. And they, they all show the same type of social interest and engagement. They smile at other people. They follow eye gaze. They have eye contact during face-to-face -face interactions with their, with their parents. This is really the chart of the re research that's been done up to this date, looking at those children at the first six, seven months of life. And you can see there are six studies here that show that they couldn't tell the difference in terms of the amount of gazing towards mothers, which is really an important thing in engagement when, when you're talking about a, a young infant because they're not yet actively moving in their world. So one of the ways we look at engagement is their gaze. And also the other, another important thing, six studies that show that they can't, they're not able to tell the difference in their shared smiling and positive affect. So there's a good bit of evidence that says, okay, at least in some respects, there's not a significant divergence in those early months that when you're looking for what the point is where children who are going to have ASD start to, something different happens to them, at least uh, on an outward level, you really can't see much of that difference early on. Now, we may at some point find data that shows us that we can, but at least at this point in time, that's where we are. Now, what's striking is that when these researchers studied the same infants six, seven, eight months later, between 12 and 14 months, they saw a dramatic difference. The main finding that's been replicated a lot, and you'll see this later, is what's called the social passivity of these infants who go on to have autism. The social passivity is really means that they are acting more like they children act at five months and four months. They're not actively engaging. They're not actively initiating. If you think about a typically developing infant at a very young age, you're really doing, they're passive. You're really doing all the work of engaging. And it really changes later on. So one of the things I want you to keep in mind here is that we're not necessarily talking about a regression. We're not talking about the fact that these children initially lose something or something happens that makes them function worse initially. But we are talking about the fact that they don't develop. They maintain their more primitive way of relating when we start to look at them at that second interval.